Welcome to the Techlahoma Newscast. It's week 44 of 2019. Covers August 28 through 31, November 1 through 3. You can find out more about Techlahoma at techlahoma.org. It's a nonprofit and volunteer run. It hosts uh, 39 groups and two conferences throughout the state, and they're all free local events. So if you see something you want to go to, show up. It doesn't cost anything, and you can learn something and meet some people. And supporting Tech Oklahoma supports Oklahoma's grassroots tech community. Yeah. All right, so Tech Oklahoma Code of Conduct is at techlahoma.org forward slash code hyphen of hyphen conduct. And the Tech Oklahoma Incident Report is at techlahoma.org forward slash incident. Yeah, so if I, if I say anything that uh, offends anyone, you can go there and fill out an incident report. Hopefully not. Try to keep it... Uh, you know, safe, like just PG, but you know. All right, if you want to get in touch with Techlahoma, there's Techlahoma Slack. You can uh, sign up at slack.techlahoma.org, and you can find more info out at techlahoma.org forward slash spaces. We have uh, speakers, uh, tech talk, random jobs, and over a hundred other topics. Uh, there's one about Golang, there's one about functional programming, there's one about uh, UX. Uh, Tulsa UX is on there. It's a, it's a good group. They've got some good stuff going on. So let's talk about local news. This is the Halloween Hangover Edition. Yeah, hopefully everyone got some candy or, you know, went to a party. All right, Tulsa meetups. Uh, Monday, 10 slash 4 is a Tulsa Data Science. That's yeah, a Python from Data Science. Uh, they're going to practice using Python li libraries for data visualization, like Matplotlib. They have data manipulation with uh, NumPy, Pandas, OpenCV, and machine learning with uh, Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and Keras. Uh, I'm sure there's more stuff there, but uh, that's what they list. If you, if you want to know what to bring, bring a laptop, a, problem, a will to problem solve, and an attitude for collaboration. Yeah, seems pretty good. It's uh, 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Tulsa County Central Library. That's uh, downtown Tulsa. Something like uh, 5th and Denver, I believe. Uh, they'll meet in one of the large study rooms, either the second or third floor on the southern side of the library. That's uh, The southern side is where you go in, where you drive up to and go into the parking lot. That's the, that's the main entrance. Uh, parking is free for the first two hours after after taking your ticket. So if you're going to park there for more than two hours, it's going to cost a little bit, uh, like a couple dollars, I believe. But it's not bad. Uh, Tuesday, 10 slash 5, is Tulsa Web Devs Techlahoma Hack Night. Yes, uh, there's child care provided by the Lobeck Taylor Foundation. It's uh, at 36 degrees north from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It just uh, it happens in the common area at the front of the building. So as soon as you'll uh, walk in, you'll find it. Uh, they do, the child care does not have like toys and things. So you'll need to bring something to keep your kids occupied. Or they'll need to bring something to occupy themselves. I mean, they can participate in hack night if they, want, if they would like. They can you know bring stuff they want to hack on. They can do that as well. Uh, there's no set agenda, just, you know, just bring whatever. All right, OKC meetups. Uh, Monday 10 slash 4 is OKC Sharp. They've got lightning talks. That's uh, 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at Starspace 46. Tuesday 10 slash 5 is the Product Tank OKC. This is a Give the User Back Their Voice talk. I'm not quite sure who's presenting that. That's going to run from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. on Tuesday at Starspace 46. And then Thursday, uh, 10 slash 7, Oklahoma Game Developers is presenting Game Storytelling Workshop. It's a workshop to help with game storytelling, presumably. That's uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Also at Starspace... Star Space 46. And then Sunday 10 slash 10 
It's Free Code Camp OKC. This is the Avoiding Complacency with the Salas Herrera. That's uh, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. at Star Space 46 as well. Yeah, Free Code Camp is a free, free uh, educational curriculum where you can learn to do HTML, uh, JavaScript, and basically web development. You can uh, go through curriculum, you build a full, fully working website. Uh, Control Shift Code School is still ongoing. It's a code school for, for survivors of interpersonal violence and abuse in Oklahoma City. Uh, they're looking for volunteers. You can be a guest speaker or technical slash teaching assistant. And if you want to do, if you want to volunteer, there's a sign up spreadsheet in the Slack channel. And the this is Techlahoma Slack. It's a hash control shift school. All right, so national news. The Unix turns 50 edition. So happy birthday, Unix. It doesn't look that old. It started in Bell Labs, I believe in uh, March 1969. And November was, I think, I believe, one of their first releases. It uh, spawned the C programming language and the anti-Unix movement. Yeah. So congratulations, Unix. Here's to uh, another half century. All right, uh, Google bot, bot Fitbit. Still trying to make fetch happen. It's 2.1 billion to not give up on Wear OS. If you're not aware of what, if you're not uh, familiar with Wear OS, that's okay. Most people aren't. It's their wearables operating system. Uh, Rick Osterlo, uh, the Google Vice President of Devices and Services, had this to say: Over the years, Google has made progress with partners in the space with Wear OS and Google Fit, but we see an opportunity to invest even more in Wear OS as well as introduce made by Google wearable devices into the market. Okay, I'm gonna say um, this is probably their mission that it's not really working out and they're hoping Fitbit will push this over the edge. Yeah, and I'm also assuming this data is gonna end up when uh, feeding Google's ad machine and you'll be able to tell your health status by the ads that show up. Hey, you've run for eight miles today. How about some cake? Also, Python adopts a new release cycle. They'll have new revisions every 12 months. So if you're wondering what this means, this is five years of total maintenance, bug fixes and full releases bi-monthly for one and a half years, uh, security updates and source only releases for the next three and a half years on an as needed basis. And what they mean by full releases is this is our binary installers will be released for Windows and Mac OS. The uh, source only releases are basically for Linux distributors and anyone who wants to compile their own Python. All right, volunteers are needed. Yes, uh, you can check that out at help-wanted.techlahoma.org or you can just reach out to anyone on the Techlahoma Slack channels. For instance, um, I'm looking for a co-host here in Tulsa. So if anyone would like to do this newscast with me, you know, get in touch. If you'd like to present, check out one of the channels and see what, see what they'd like or just present your idea and uh, see when they'd like to show up. Yeah, get involved. Techlahoma's pretty cool. All right, that wraps it up. You can uh, find more info about Techlahoma at techlahoma.org. You can uh, check out the Techlahoma blog at medium.com forward slash at Techlahoma. There's the YouTube channel, which this will be posted to here in a little bit. It's youtube.com forward slash Techlahoma. And then there's uh, Twitch TV. You can go to twitch.twitch.tv forward slash Techlahoma forward slash videos. And you can see uh, streaming events and past videos that we've recorded. So that's it for me today. And uh, I made it under 10 minutes. So uh, congratulations to me. All right. See you next week.